Good morning on this fine day. It's a rainy one in a downpour, and I knew that the pedaling past 60 channel would get off to a rocky start because of camera presence, because of technology challenges. But the first day of trying to create some content, uh, I'm in a downpour. So I've got the rain gear on. I don't have anything to cover my head. I don't know what's gonna happen with my glasses. But we gotta find out and learn what it's like to ride in the rain if we're going to be commuters. Uh, so, wish me luck. Well, so far this isn't that bad. It's a little cold, um, but hey, when the temperatures have been in 100 degree range, uh, 100 degree plus, uh, you know, the feels like thing, not the temperature, um, correction. So when the temperatures, you know, feel like 100 in the high humidity here in Nebraska, uh, this is welcome. Uh, and actually, uh, somewhat enjoyable and uh, I, I know that I prefer a uh, winter ride over a summer ride after riding for an entire four seasons I I understand that I enjoy the winter rides more than the summer rides the summer rides are kind of hot sweaty nasty uh, winter rides if you dress properly uh, it's not bad at all Here we go. Um, note to self, some gloves would be nice. The handlebars are a little slippery. Um, and uh, some sort of skin to over my sneakers would be good too. My feet are already wet. I did bring dry socks. I did not bring shoes. But I have ridden in all sorts of weather. But this is my first full-on rain shower. Let's kick it up into a little bit higher gear or a higher pedal at this level. Uh, today's not about sauntering. Today's about getting to work. Yep, I just ran a stop sign. You're right. Rolling stop. Four-way. Nobody around. You know, if you're wondering about e-bikes in the rain, I am too. Uh, all the boots that are on the electrical connections sealed up pretty nicely. I've taken them apart. There's, they look just as good as brand new uh, after a year. Uh, but I have covered my, whew, I'm out of breath. I have covered my um, screen here in uh, cling wrap. The cling wrap, the cling wrap on the uh, screen here worked pretty well, as has worked pretty well. I'm only a third of the way into the ride, it's still dry. Um, could have used a rubber band right here. One nice thing about this uh, this shower today, and it's been pretty steady. Uh, my roof was leaking. My new roof was leaking.
One thing about this steady shower today is it's going to test uh, the new roof to make sure there's no leaks. Um, in some of the problem spots that I've had over the years. That'll be nice. Okay, this front brake is embarrassing, but there's nobody out to hear that my bike sounds like a freight train. One nice thing is, is I guess, uh, one nice thing here is that the squeaky brake is uh, just like a little bike horn. I think I'm going to jump up on the bike path here. Good morning. Someone else who's not afraid of the rain. branches are a little heavy this morning. Today would have been a wonderful day also just to sit inside with a book and and read. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't want to get sprayed with curb water. Speed it up here to get up to the university sidewalk. Use the throttle a little bit, pick up some speed. Don't want to be safe, but just want to get away from the street here a little bit. I'm not going to bag on uh, scooter drivers, but I have no idea why they abandoned them in the middle of the sidewalk. Uh, they're giving electric vehicles a bad name, and it, it happens, I see it more often than not. They're never off to the side. They seem like they're always in the middle of the sidewalk, and most of the time tipped over. If it wasn't raining, I would have moved it. Wind is uh, picking up. I'm uh, over two thirds of the way to work. I'm in a residential neighborhood just west of where my building is. And uh, not only is it a beautiful, beautiful area, it's a safe area to ride. Okay, pro tip, I think I'm going to leave a pair of shoes at work, uh, so I don't have to carry shoes with me, uh, or find some sort of slip-on covers for sneakers. My shoes are wet. Other than that, I'm sure my head is soaked, but uh, the rest of my body is completely dry. So when all is said and done, my final take on riding in the rain uh, was the overall experience was 
just fine. Um, a, yes, maybe some sort of bonnet for the helmet would be nice to keep the head dry, but that was not an issue for me. Um, shoes, altering Crocs, uh, no socks. That's that is the best solution I can come up with. I think it's perfect. Uh, I'll order some Crocs this week. Uh, they've got some really nice ones that uh, are sturdy enough for cycling. And um, other than that, I think it's perfectly safe as long as you take your time. The roads can get oily. And, uh, you know, I work in a shop where I can get my clothes dried out in a hurry with the fan. And uh, I, 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 I would say overall, I've very much enjoyed the ride. Thanks for riding along with me. We'll see you next time.